Hey guys, remember to hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment so I know what you really think about me. Enjoy. Hey guys, things are back with more Eternal Radiance. So last time we did a bunch of side quest crud in Veritas, moving on to the Arroyan Tundra. First says there's now this. Does it always have to be so extreme? Does it always have to be so... Oh, does it always have to be extremes? Uh, it's a little chilly, isn't it? Spoke to the gods at City Gates. They confirmed the girl matching Kyler's description came this way. Guess we have no choice then, everyone. Be careful. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm going to check out this area over here first. Because it's a dead end. What's this red stuff? What are you? I don't know what these red things are on the floor. It's really weird. Stupid owls! You're like bats. I feel worse about killing you. Come on. Why why you why would you do that? Why would you change who I'm locked on to? Oh uh, there's a thing here. Frozen beauty. Hmm. What are you doing, Celeste? Look at this scrap of parchment we found in the desert. Wish I knew what we said. Oh, you mean the one that we Gave away already? It looks ancient, but sure. For all I spent more time studying ancient languages as some of the other mages did. You mean no people whom I've studied a language like this? Yeah, it's quite possible. There are many available language classes, including some that focus on languages from ancient civilizations. But you weren't interested. Fine, I mean, we. I don't have this slip of paper anymore. I gave it away. Gosh dang it. Oh! Why is that? Do you remember the legend I told you about the ghostly woman who appears when snows? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Well, it's snowing. You're not suggesting we look for a ghost, right? Of course I am! This could be a breakthrough for my research! Is there a specific place this woman is supposed to show up? No, just in the snow. Great. More things. What's this? Hey, there are tracks in the snow. We should follow them. Is this for some mercenary work you took on? No, I'm just curious who's out here and what they're after. Gods. Okay, more. What are you doing? What? I said I picked that up. Realize it's going to snow as soon as we're out of here, right? You realize it's going to snow? You mean it's going to melt, I guess? Well, oh, that's not a problem. I'll use my magic to keep any snow or ice frozen. You can? It's amazing! Yep, so pick up as much as you want. Why are you encouraging this behavior? Are these so are these the footsteps? I'll assume yes. I really wish there was an AoE flying technique. Or just the ability to cast spells in midair. Cause I'd love to be able to cast magic orb in midair. I mean, it'll make taking these guys out so much easier if I use my AoE techniques for that, but no! Why make things easy for me? I do have a significant amount of... Uh, MP recovery now though, so that's nice. Um, hmm. The campfire? Why don't somebody camping out here? I don't know. This close to Veritas, you think they just go back there to rest? Hmm. Ah. What's wrong? There's a message here. Looks like some scratches in the wood to me. It's an old code used by certain mercenary groups. This is the symbol for valley, then the symbol for rock pile. The final symbol means wooden planks. 
So we're looking for wooden planks near a rock pile somewhere in the valley. It's worth checking out. Sure, why not? Okay, so I got an experimental staff from this chest, which grants Ruby MP regen. So I gave her some attack spells. So now she'll be able to use her attacks again. Very nice. So this was worthwhile. Nice little detour. Shh, did you hear that? I mean, we're just in a random spot in the field, so no. Hear what? Something's moving just up ahead. I didn't hear anything. It was probably a monster. Get ready. Well, nothing's attacking us. I don't see anything. Are you sure it wasn't just the wind? What if it was her? You mean that ghost you're looking for? I highly doubt it was a ghost. It would explain why she disappeared. How? That's... Ah, over there I saw something to the west! West. Never. East. Sour. West. Got it. Let's save the game first, shall we? I think at this point I'm over leveled based off a few things let's see based off the fact that i have a quest for level 19 to visit here and i'm currently level 23 i'm guessing i'm over leveled so i said to head back to the west which i just came from um There's no indication that there's anything here. Uh, this just gave me a scroll of life. Don't worry about it. Oh, here it is. I guess. Well, there isn't anything here. Now will you admit there isn't a ghost out here? I really saw something, though. Your eyes can play tricks on you, especially in all the snow. I suppose so. Yeah, one time Quinn and I were out hiking and we thought we saw... Huh? What's wrong? There's someone on top of that huge rock! Hey, you! Well, oh no, not you two. I don't see anyone. They're gone now, but I swear they were there a minute ago watching us. If that's true, they must have climbed down the other side. Let's circle around and take a look. Uh, which huge rock? That one? Or this one? Like, I would say this is still a huge rock, since it's three times our height. But that one is significantly huger. Oh, that's no good. If you pan down the camera, you can see through the world. Mm. No likey. Meanwhile, this quest was literally just making me run around in circles. I don't see anyone. It was really a ghost. Why would a ghost watch us from on top of a rock? How should I know? You're the ghost expert. Well, I'd hardly call myself an expert. It does make sense to me, though. After all, ghost is an incorporeal spirit. Then what did I see? Maybe Falana's a writer is just a trick of the light. Or maybe there's a person. Yeah, I guess I got caught up in the excitement and I imagined that. I don't know about that. Uh, wait, now you think you really saw something? No, it looks as... No, I have empirical evidence. It looks as though something fell here. Oh, so far on top of the rock. Jump down here. Yas. Yas? There are no footprints leading away. Are you saying it's a ghost after all? I expect the stone who covered the tracks so we won't be able to follow them. If you're right, they jumped down from the rock and ran out of sight, taking time covering the trail all the time took a circle back around? Is that even possible? Well, if they're a high enough level ranger, they get the pass without, tra pass without trace feature, so yes. Ruby, this is your area of expertise. Mine? Oh, you think it's one of the Shadowborn? If they're as elusive as you claim, they'd be up to the task. So what we thought was a ghost was actually one of the Shadowborn spying on us. That's... Creepy. Amazing! That's one word for it. Oh, that's so much better than a random spirit wandering around. One of the Shadowborn was right here. You're happy about this? Of course. I need to go over every detail. So will you provide a statement about what you saw? I'll quote you in my paper. Uh, please don't. Come on, you two can work out the details as we go. For now, we should get back on track. Cool. That was worthless. Moving on! Okay, nothing else in this area. Moving on.
interviewing Celeste. Oh, great. All right, Celeste, while we walk, tell me about your experience with the Shadowborn who was spying on us. Ruby, you were right there with me. Want me to tell you about it? But you were literally there. You literally heard everything I went through. I want to hear it in your own words. But you were there listening to me talk. I told you everything. Let's see, we were talking about illusions and mirages and stuff like that when I looked up and saw someone watching us from on top of the rock. What made you look up? Did you hear something? Did a sixth sense tell you we were being watched? Um, no, it was just a whim. Looks like I was thinking to myself, wow, that's a big rock. How high does it go? And I'm like, ah, a person. So that's an accident you know it's a shadowborn at all. Hmm, interesting. Y yeah. What about the person you saw? What did they look like? I was too fast to get a good look. I caught a glimpse of a person, but I couldn't tell anything specific. I see. It might be a Yeti instead, though. Hmm, fascinating. I see. Sorry, they probably aren't any sorts of details you're hoping to hear. No, it's actually very interesting. Thanks, Les. You've been a big help. Uh, if you say so. Okay. Oh, where am I? Bottom left, God. Okay, there's a safe spot, and it looks like a boss fight's coming up. This must be it. All oh, right, I was looking for wooden block, uh, wooden planks or whatever. What are we looking for? More carvings? No, I think we need to dig. Isn't this exciting? I feel like we're about to uncover the ruins of an ancient civilization. More likely we'll find another dead body. And aren't those ruins usually pretty dangerous? We'd still be the first ones to... We're not digging up ruins, it's a box. It's a big box. What's in it? I bet it's treasure. Let me see, it doesn't appear to be trapped in any way, it should be open like this. Is it a treasure? It's a bow. Huh? Well, also bury your bow in the, out in the middle of nowhere and leave a coded message about it. Maybe it's destiny, that bow was placed here for Velana to find it. Oh, come on. Well, it has my name on it, so that's actually a bit creepy. Velana? I'll keep the bows, might as well. Aren't you still curious about it? No. Wait, is that another code message card in the bottom of the box? No. It sure looks the same as the other one to me. Whatever it says, she must really not want to talk about it. Let's get going. We've wasted enough time here. Okay, so... She mentions that it was... That those codes were written by certain mercenary troops, and then she knew it. So it's likely that that bow was actually meant for her, or at least someone that she knew about, or something. I don't know. All backstory stuff that we'll find out later, I'm sure. And by later, I mean in a you know full release of the game. Okay, saved. And now there should be something here, whether or not it's a boss fight or... Hmm. I'm assuming that's a boss fight. I don't know why. I don't know what makes me think that. I'm starting to think this is a dead end. No way anyone lives out here. This would make the ideal hideout, though. Everyone believes it's impossible to cross the tundra. Well, with good reason. It's really cold. And Elvers are dressed well for it. And here comes another inhabitant of the Orion Tundra to greet us. Be on your guard. What? Ah! How did I not notice that? Okay, boss fight. Let's see, third boss fight. Uh, let's keep up a shield. There we go. Okay, so I used Ruby's ults. Jeez. Uh, how do I do the other ults? Oof. Oof. Oh boy. Oh my. Um. I just took a lot of damage. Oh boy. Uh, let's heal. There we go. I haven't been using potions in a while, so that's fine. Well, I should heal. Ruby as well. 
Uh, what was... Ow! Stop it! How do I dodge these attacks? I wasn't even sure what was causing those attacks to happen. See? What's, ca what's causing these attacks to happen? Is it those... Those things? Is that what's happening? I don't... I don't understand. What... What's causing that? It's just random explosions. Am I supposed to destroy these? Is that what's happening? I don't understand. That made no sense. I don't get it. What? What's hitting me? Seriously? Well, I don't understand. I have no idea. What was causing those... What was happening. It felt like there would just be random explosions that took up half the map. Like, what game was I playing before where that was an issue I had? Ugh, I don't remember. God, this guy's annoying. So yeah, the character ults aren't that good. Because even if you unleash all three of them, it just does, you know, a third of this a boss's health. I guess that's still decent, but I don't know. So yeah, I think these giant glaciers explode and that's what's causing... Yeah. So, I mean, that's what's causing it, but it's still frustrating because they didn't. There's no real explanation about that. I was at 80% of my health. What? That, that pretty much just one shot me. I was at almost full health. I just use potions. Okay, so the bar on these things is when they'll go off and trigger their attacks. Unfortunately, the allies won't attack them. You know, like they won't add a form of priority towards those attacks, so that's unfortunate. Right away, flee! Jesus Christ. Come on! Oh, God. This boss fight is bullcrap. Move! Oh my goodness! Okay, he's down, and the attacks still happen afterwards, so that's something you have to be careful of, but Jesus Christ, that's... Ugh. A little bit higher timer on those ice glacier things would be nice. Okay. This is crazy! Let's keep moving. Perhaps we can at least see some traces of Kyla's passage. Are you not going to mention the fact we just killed a dragon? 
Seriously. Let's go back and save. Jesus Christ. There's another thing. Another star thing, which means possibly another boss fight. Or just a magical barrier. One of the two. Anything over here before I continue that storyline? Nah, just some random loot spots. No treasure chest, really? Expecting something. Oh well. Huh? It's like an invisible wall. I mean, it, you can very clearly see it, so it's not. It's some sort of magic. Yeah, I would expect an invisible wall to be magic. Can't get past it. Let me see. Nope! This isn't like any magic I've encountered before. It's so powerful. Anyone want to bet that the Shadowborn ran on the other side? Ugh, how can we have come so close only to be stopped here? Kalia must have a way to get past this. We won't find answers by standing around in the snow. Let's go back. Oh, fine. I mean, man, if only we could climb this hill and get past this wall. Or, you know, these much easier to climb and shorter rocks. But nope, it's impossible. We can't go around it at all. Okay, so we're supposed to go back to Theratus, but I believe there's a quest over in here. Yeah. Lily! Hey, guess what? What? I visit a place where it's always winter. <gasps> really? Yeah, it's just north of here, actually. Tell me about it. Tell me, tell me! Ugh, we don't have time for this. In fact, how are we even here? First of all, it's freezing. It's very cold constantly and lots of snow. Wow, well, really want to see snow like that? You know, all the trees are in covered snow too. It's, you know, it's lots of snow. What, what do you expect? Yeah, it's pretty quite a sight. I don't know if it's a good idea. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go! It's not a safe place for a little girl. Maybe when you're older. Why? Because vicious monsters live there that can eat a little girl like you as a snack. Yeah, nah. You know she tried to go there no matter what she said. Figure a good scale, take care of it. Also, it's true. But please don't get eaten. Don't worry, come on. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Nope. Veritas. Well, now what? We need to learn how Kalia got past the barrier. It's not like we can ask her. Then who can we ask? Ahem! Oh, do you have an idea? I think we should go to the academy. Why? The barrier is magical. The academy must have answers about that sort of magic. Well, it's worth a try. Let's go, I guess. Okay, well, Enchantress Hall. That's not what I wanted to. Petrus, all right, found. It's like all the icicles and snow were just random drops, so there wasn't quest stuff. Here you go, ten handfuls of snow and eight icicles. Carefully kept frozen through Ruby's magic to avoid bringing you back a puddle of water. Thank you, I can't wait to start studying these. Do you really think you could get a good paper out of this? Coming from the person who wrote about lizard people last year, that's rich. Yeah, no one else has done it, so this discovery will be all mine. Well, if the reason no one else has ever conducted a study like this is because there's nothing to learn. Well, how would you know there's nothing to learn if you didn't study it? Fair enough. He has a point there, oddly enough. Oh, thank goodness, you're back. Eh, why, what's wrong now? Urgent message came through for your friends last. Shit. That's un that's not good. Yeah, you used that device over there. How? It's still Athos, just walk up to it and speak into it. Okay. Uh, hi, Celeste. This is Sir Zakaris. Oh, hi. I need you to return to headquarters. Sir, I... That's an order, Celeste. Oh no, not why I'm so close, but if I disappear I really will be a traitor. You return you are to return immediately, that's is all. Okay. So what was all that about? I've been ordered to return to headquarters. Are you going to? I really don't have much of a choice, I mean they'll sort of you know, excommunicate me if I don't. What? We don't have time for this. It's not like we know I'll get past the barrier right now. Besides, I can't disobey direct royal. A direct order. I'm still loyal. No matter what Quinn thinks. 
We'll go with you. We will? What? We will. I, oh, oh, fine. Thanks, guys. Just hope I'm not in too much trouble. To be continued. Thanks for trying out Chapter 3. So, I believe now I can't actually do it. Yep. So that's actually the end of the game. End of the early access. So let's save. Now if I want to, I can continue grinding. I don't know how much of this stuff will be carried over to the final game, so I probably won't do that. I might make a follow-up video at some point. Because if you recall, when we first met Valina, she said, Oh, if you give me 10,000 gold, I'll help you. But at the time, it's like, oh, you have 2,000, nowhere near enough. So I might do a follow-up video where I try to get 10,000 gold before meeting Valina and see if I can actually pay her. That would be funny, but doubtful. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video and watching the series as a whole. If you want to support the developer, by all means, get an early access. The price will likely go up as more chapters are added as and as it reaches full, like the full game. I got this for less than 20 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. And I imagine it'll be closer to a 40 if not $60, probably 40 or $50 game once it reaches full release, which they said should be in about a year. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing that lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye-bye.